house um, to his lost lover. It's a poem of regret about not saying the things you should have said in a in a relationship. It has it all for me. Poetry is all about saying what often goes unsaid, and with passion. It's, it can be it can be such a hope in your life. <clears throat> if you feel tired or depressed, you can always find a poem that will help you. It can be short or long; it doesn't matter. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, one more volunteer about for James. Hello. Can I do cha? Okay, so one day, no, okay, so one day not yet, please. Okay. Um, the thing I'm passionate about, and this may surprise many people, is um practice uh, weather. I know lots of people can stand out uh, our weather. Um, uh, they complain about it all the time, but I love it. You see, when I was a child, my family lived in the California for five years, and, uh, and we had about um, three, uh, 365 days for sunshine every year. It was so boring. I was 10 when we came back to England and just loved all the changes in the uh in the weather here you really appreciate the sun signs and you notice the um seasons seasons for me one of nature's uh magical is after a long hot sunny day there's a uh, under stones or the down pools of friends and you go out in the garden and you can smell the freshness in the ears and the world has been uh, west clean and bright the magic and you know it's made that it's rain all the time it doesn't anyways it the rains that give us our um our green fields you know that jokes if you don't like english weather wait 10 minutes that's why it's interesting okay thank you very much the last one oh, only uh, ladies how about gentlemen oh say last one hello sir okay now we don't know who won okay so i will give this to the man because Mr. Tolton, Sela, and Vulnerable Tweeted. So, Tweeted, okay, please, your, your, if you want to read. Yes, teacher. I read. Sometimes I feel really passionate about is fox hunting. My grandmother, mother, and uncles have always been on, been keen on hunting, and I started when I was about six. We hung up in the West mountains. We go out from about 11 a.m. And the thing I love best about is what you are away from everything and everyone up in the hills. And you work together with horses and dogs. And if you follow, if you're following a clever fox, you can see him working out how to lose the dogs. He knows the countryside so well where the holes are we are too high where we hunt in the walls uh, it's sheep farming area so the farmers contact us if they have a problem with the fox we only hunt on their land we are us i don't hunt so much now because the laws have changed Okay, thank you very much. You can practice more at home, okay? All right, and uh, we're gonna continue to the next one. So the next one, uh, actually exercise is here. You have 15 minutes to write and prepare for a presentations about your passions, but I'm not going to give you to do it now. We don't have plenty of times. 
So I'm going to give you as a homework here. So we have two questions. Which of the people passions most interest you? Why? Which interest you least? OK, number two, is there any thing in your life that you feel passionate about? Tell the class about it. So now I decide to uh, copy the question here on the on 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 the homework for you. So this is actually your homework writing here. OK, guy, homework writing that you must do it. So I'm going to give you this homework. And now I give you one more homework. Uh, this homework is for speaking. So this homework, I would say um, speaking. Right and uh, answer all the questions. And uh, prepare for the speaking. Okay, so the questions, so the question that uh, I gonna prepare for your speaking would be this. No, okay, would be this one. You don't need to answer very long. So I would say the first question was it. Can you read which of the people? Can you read for me, please? I don't have it. Passion. What is it? Passion most interests you. Yeah, interests you. And uh, that one, that one. Uh, okay, why? That one I make one question and uh, that one I'm going to give that one I'm going to give you. Um, I think maybe five back and I need you to write long answer and you have to do it. OK, and then question number tons are going to be the same questions, but uh, which of the people's passions? What is it? Everyone? Uh, most yes. this one will change to least, right? least uh, interest you so there are I, I i divide into two and then why had to give the reason five mark as well long and then one more uh, the last one is there any what is any, it anything right in, in your life that you feel passionate that you feel passionate about Passionate about. OK, uh, this one you write a small paragraph and then you can you're going to tell the class this one for speaking. OK, this one I'm going to give you turn mark for that because including speaking and turn mark and this 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 is a homework 40 mark here actually not full 40 mark going to divide to get them the real mark and we have pre writing for you here. You have to complete all. And then you need to write a paragraph on a piece of paper or you can do it on your computer and, and then upload your answer here. OK. All right. Up the upload your uh, you can upload if if, if you have an uh, example, if if you use computer, it will look like this. Once you finish pre writing and then you go to the writing. Now let me do for you. Just give you example example. I just give you example because you need to do this and then you can go and writing. I just give you example, all right? Uh, then you can go to the oh, question number one, not yet. OK, so with not yet, you cannot go. So then you go to question number two. Uh, this one writing. So you can write on a piece of paper. You can see here, read writing sample, my crazy uncle Joe on page 109 of the textbook. Write a similar description of a members of your family, about 200 words. So write a paragraph in your notebook, then take a photos of it, upload it here. So you can upload here. So you can upload picture, for example, I upload. Um, uh, example, this is uh, after I finish, I take a photo so and then I can upload like this. OK, once you upload like this, you cannot see it. But when you see the trash bin here, I mean your upload is successful here. And after you finish, you can go to the next one. This is the speaking, the one that you need to do at the moment. And then once you finish, you click on submit. Remember, you please don't click on submit if you don't finish anything. You have to finish everything and then you can submit. You get it, everyone? Yes, teacher. OK, for this one going to be your homework. If you do on mobile phone, going to be look like this. OK, I will send you up to class maybe in the afternoon. And uh, please uh, don't worry. But I'm, I'm just a little bit worried about uh, Sok Lane. Sok Lane, your account is not licensed yet. So it's a So maybe you, you cannot go and do it, you know. Oh. 
Have you called uh, Mr. Chai Zaman for that? Yes, I called to teacher uh, Chai Zaman, but um, I'm not joined. Not joined what? Uh, because I can't. Teacher. That, that's okay. Uh, we can talk uh, after class. Now you, you can study first because I assign the homework in the afternoon. If you don't have the license, you cannot assess. You cannot do the, 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 the homework that I assign. Okay. And other teacher as well, like Mr. Sambo, other teacher, they also assign on Microsoft Teams. So please, 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 you have to do it. Yes. All right. So this one we finish. Now we go to the next one. Hopefully we finish the unit by today. We are one week late now. OK, so now we are going to this everyday English, making the right noises. OK, don't shout, <laughs> don't speak so quietly. And some people, if you are in a romantic situations, the way you speak is very soft, right? Hello, uh, what was that? Uh, honey, this is uh, my uh, this is the juice for you. Now, for example, now if you are in a nightclub, you may shout a lot. Hey. Hey, man, this is a juice or this is in a glass of wine, something like that. You, you shout some. So how can you make the right noises? You know, well, now you are studying. Oh, we speak like Cambodian people. Like, OK, Cambodian people speak very straight. And I mean, the, there is no intonations there. Do you speak English like that? It's not really. Even we cannot sound like a native speaker because of our voice differently. But we can have the same intonations if you listen and imitate, practice, you know, uh, to the native speaker. So now how can you make a the right noise? This is our lesson all about. So look at the words in the boxes. They are all possible responses in conversations. What do they express? So there are agreement. You agree something. So you need to complete in the chart here. Sympathy. So like, OK, you show happiness when something uh, so that you are joyful about something when you hear something and pleasure, happy and surprise. Now, how fantastic. So do we see we have the 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 light purple color here highlighted on the uh, this task. So fantastic. How fantastic. That's great. Lovely, lovely, right? Congratulation. Like this, this is only one word. It's just like a stress, right? Brilliant. Good for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Of course. Of course. You see, cause is, is stronger. Fair enough. Fair enough. So in here is very, you know, not, almost no sound. Fair enough. Fine. Fine. You know, just, just like Cambodian. Fine. <laughs> right. Okay. Strong. Okay. When you speak okay, not okay. No, not like that. Right? Okay. <laughs> Did you? You didn't. Right? That amazing. You kidding? Kidding. Right? You kidding? You did what? Right? At the end. Really? What's the pity? That a shame. Oh, there. That's too bad. That's too bad. So that too bad. So that here is very fast. A little bit low, but too bad is stronger. How awful! Oh, on this one, how awful and bad luck. Okay, anyone can read this one again for your friends. It's a bit difficult to read, you know. Okay, I will call um, Jim. Okay, Jim Hung. Okay, please. Yeah, uh, how fantastic! That is great. Lovely. No, Perfect. I want, I want, I, sorry, uh, good, that's good, but I want you to, you know, uh, put more stress on the highlighted word. So again, yeah. Yeah, again, please. All, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, how fantastic. That is great. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Congratulations. Brilliant. Good for you. Absolutely. Definitely. Of course. Fair enough. Fine. Okay. Did you? You didn't. That is amazing. You are kidding. You did what? Really? What a pity. That is the same. 
Oh dear, that is too bad. How awful! Bad luck. Okay, sympathy here, not not uh, sympathy. Choice. I make kind of mistake. You feel like okay, somebody need help. Uh, somebody have encountered the problems, so that is um, sympathy. So now we have to uh, complete this word into this box. So agreement, which one? Agreement. With the second. The second yeah. one. The second, yeah, the second one. How about, how about sympathy? Um, sympathy is the 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 fourth column. The fourth column, right? How about uh, pleasure? Uh, the first column. Yeah, the first column, and this one is the last one. So you know that because in conversations, people like to share their story with you, share the news and everything. Sometimes about something said something about something imagines they share their achievement with you so you need to know how to respond that they call making the right noises if something if somebody just share something empath i mean sad to you or something not 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 going well and it will say a cause fine fair enough something like that that is would be in the wrong uh they don't share anything with you anymore in the future. So you need to be able to respond with the correct expressions and intonation as well. Okay, and we have the answer. You are right, your answer is not uh, wrong. So I have the answer for you here. Pleasures, agreement, surprise, and sympathy. All right, practice more at home by yourself and we're gonna continue to the next one. So this is the intonations. Listen and repeat these expressions with a wide voice range. Now here we go. Let's listen and practice. How fantastic, absolutely, did you? What's a pity? Here we go. Tape script 7.8. Music of English. How fantastic. Absolutely. Did you? What a pity. Okay, again. Tape script 7.8. Music of English. How fantastic. Absolutely. Did you? What a pity. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to call Rajana to read, please. Again, read again. Yes, Tom. How fantastic. Absolutely. Did you? What a pity. How fantastic. All right, take a little bit longer. Okay, and uh, uh, some students are very quiet. <laughs> okay, I will call Ratana. Ratana? No, Ratana, no. Okay. Okay, Ratana, read again, please. Read again, please. Mm, how fantastic. Absolutely. Did you? What a pity. Okay, absolutely not as a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay, now we go to the 1.9 and practice together. Okay, now it's the 1.9. I have the answer for you, but uh, you don't need to listen for that. So I give you the, the answer here. I just want you to practice reading them. Okay, here we go. Tape script 7.9. Pleasure. That's great. Lovely. Agreement. Definitely. Fair enough. Fine. Surprise. You didn't. You did what? Sympathy. That's a shame. That's too bad. Bad luck. Okay, Mr. Tolton, please read again. <laughs> A pleasure. That's great. Lovely. <laughs> the agreement. Definitely fair enough. Fine. Surprise. You did? You didn't? You did what? Sympathy. That's a shame. That's too bad. Bad luck. 
Okay, good. Thank you. So, Yon? Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Please, sir. That's great. Lonely? Agreement. Lovely. Very lovely. Agreement. Definitely. Fair enough. Fine. Surprise. You didn't? You did what? Sympathy. That the scream. Same. That's too bad. Shame. That the same. That's too bad. Bad luck. Okay, a shame, a shame. Okay, I play a tape again for you. Tape script 7.9. Pleasure. That's great. Lovely. Agreement. Definitely. Fair enough. Fine. Surprise. You didn't. You did what? Sympathy. That's a shame. That's too bad. Bad luck. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you can practice more at home with this. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Listen and complete B responses. Practice the conversation with your partner. Oh, do I have the listening? Okay, I have the listening here. Okay, so you have to complete the responses here with the expression that we just learned, right? Uh, at the moment. Now, list, okay, A, my grandfather hasn't been too well lately. He's 29. Don't you think at his age he should slow down a bit? But he won't listen to me. He says he wants to enjoy his life to the full. Last summer, he went on a two weeks cycling holidays in France. We are going to give him a big party for his 80th birthday. But before that, I'm going to have a word with him and tell him to take things more easy. Are you ready to listen and complete the responses here? Yes. yes. Okay, here we go. Tape script 7.10. My grandfather hasn't been too well lately. Oh dear. He's 79. Don't you think at his age he should slow down a bit? Absolutely. But he won't listen to me. He says he wants to enjoy his life to the full. Well, fair enough. Last summer, he went on a two-week cycling holiday in France. You're kidding. We're going to give him a big party for his 80th birthday. That's great. But before that, I'm going to have a word with him and tell him to take things more easy. Good for you. OK, listen again. Tape script 7.10. My grandfather hasn't been too well lately. Oh, dear. He's 79. Don't you think at his age he should slow down a bit? Absolutely. But he won't listen to me. He says he wants to enjoy his life to the full. Well, fair enough. Last summer, he went on a two-week cycling holiday in France. You're kidding. We're going to give him a big party for his 80th birthday. That's great. But before that, I'm going to have a word with him and tell him to take things more easy. Good for you. All right. So now, the first one, why is it? My grandfather hasn't been too well lately. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right? Are you, okay, if, if the response, oh dear, from the listening, you can put, what a pity, that a shame, they're too bad. Okay, then he's 29. Don't you think at his age, he should slow down a bit? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, or you can say definitely, or of course. Okay, uh, but he won't listen to me. He say he want to enjoy his life to the full. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, or you can say of course or absolutely. Okay, uh, last summer he went to a two week cycling holiday in France. Uh, you are kidding. Yep. You're, you're kidding. kidding. Yeah. Okay, you're kidding. That's amazing or really. Okay, uh, we are going to give him a big party for his 80th birthday. 
That's, That's great. 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 That's great. Oh, you have other words to say as well, you know? How fantastic, lovely, brilliant, good for you. And But before I'm going to have a word with him and uh, tell him to take things more easy. Good, good for you. Good for you. Wow, very good. We hear the word from Charlie, gentlemen. <laughs> good for you. Okay, now Charlie, I want you to read A. And I would like to ask Srinit to read B. No. Okay, Chili and, and uh, Srinit, please start. Yes, my grandfather hasn't been too well lately. How bad? With your dog. Hey, oh dear. He's 29, don't you think? And his eggs, he should slow down a bit. Absolutely. But he won't listen to me. He said he want to enjoy his rise to the full. Right now. Last summer, he went on a two-week cycling holiday in France. You're kidding. We're going to give him a big party for his HT birthday. That's great. But before that, I'm going to have a word with him and tell him to take things more easy. Good for you. All right, thank you very much. Now let's listen to the tape again and practice along quietly at home. Okay. Tape script 7.10. My grandfather hasn't been too well lately. Oh dear. He's 79. Don't you think at his age he should slow down a bit? Absolutely. But he won't listen to me. He says he wants to enjoy his life to the full. Well, fair enough. Last summer, he went on a two-week cycling holiday in France. You're kidding. We're going to give him a big party for his 80th birthday. That's great. But before that, I'm going to have a word with him and tell him to take things more easy. Good for you. OK, thank you very much. And uh, let's go to the next one. Hopefully, we can finish this thing. Uh, OK, I think we finish this one and then we can finish Unit 7. Next week, we go to Unit 8. Now, read the lines of the conversations. Write a suitable response. There are sometimes several possibility. Okay, everyone. So right now, um, I want. We don't may have much time. I may just play a listening for you, and you can listen and practice this. So my boyfriend just asked me to marry him. So we have uh, surprise and pleasure. Number two, will spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese, sorry, bolognese, be okay for dinner. So you have to write something agreement here and pleasure. Okay. Uh, there's a strike at the airport. So my holiday has been canceled. So you have to write the expression of sympathy here and okay, and sympathy. And four, I failed my driving test again. Surprise and sympathy. You have to write a response. Number five, we are expecting a baby. Okay. And number six, do you th so you think I should sell to buy a car, not to borrow the money, not to borrow the money? And I told I never wanted to see him again. So your job now, if we have ten minutes, do you want to spend more minute today, everyone? So I'm gonna give you time to write a response by yourself. Anyway, we have the listening, so we don't need to do so. Um, you have to listen and, and write down the response here. Right? Pleasures and, and surprise for each of them. So now I'm going to play the tape for you. I will play two times for you. Please uh, listen carefully and write down. Today you listen a lot. I think you improve your listening as well. So here we go. Are you ready to write, everyone, with your notebook or not? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, yes. thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Tape script 7.11. One. My boyfriend's just asked me to marry him. Did he? How fantastic. Did you say yes? 
too. Will spaghetti bolognese be okay for dinner? Of course. That's great. It's one of my favourites. Three. There's a strike at the airport, so my holiday's been cancelled. Oh dear, that's a shame. Will you get your money back? Four. I failed my driving test again. You didn't. That's too bad. Better luck next time. Five. We're expecting a baby. Are you? Congratulations. When's it due? Six. So you think I should save to buy a car, not borrow the money? Definitely. You've already got too many debts. Seven. I told him I never wanted to see him again. You're kidding! What a pity! I always thought the two of you were so good together. Okay, one more time. Tape script seven point eleven. One. My boyfriend's just asked me to marry him. Did he? How fantastic! Did you say yes? Two. Will spaghetti bolognese be okay for dinner? Of course. That's great. It's one of my favourites. Three. There's a strike at the airport, so my holiday's been cancelled. Oh dear, that's a shame. Will you get your money back? Four. I failed my driving test again. You didn't. That's too bad. Better luck next time. Five. We're expecting a baby. Are you? Congratulations. When's it due? Six. So you think I should save to buy a car, not borrow the money? Definitely. You've already got too many debts. Seven. I told him I never wanted to see him again. You're kidding! What a pity! I always thought the two of you were so good together. All right. So let's check the answer. Num uh, number one, my boy's friend just asked me to marry him. Anyone? Did he? Did he? Did he? How, is the point? Yeah. How fantastic. Did How you fa say yes? Did you say yes? yes? OK, thank you very much. Number two, will spaghetti bolognese be OK for you? For, for dinner? Sorry. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's great. Of course. That's correct. It's my favorite. Okay. Oh, it's great. It's my favorite. Okay, number three. There's a strike at the airport, so my holiday has been canceled. Oh, oh dear. dear. That is same. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. Will you, uh, will you get your money back? Okay, will you get your money back? Okay, number four. I failed my driving test again. You didn't. That's so bad. Better luck next time. Okay. Number five. We are expecting a baby. Are you? Congratulations. When it. it hmm. are you? Okay. All right. Number six. Uh -huh. So you think I should have to buy a car, not to borrow the money? Definitely. Definitely. Okay, that's number one. I told him I've never wanted to see him again. You are kidding? You are kidding? Uh, what's a pity? Okay, here is the answer for you. So we play the tape again and you can listen and uh, read along quietly. And there are possible answers that you can put as well. So I'm going to drop this uh, for you. Uh, maybe you can watch it and copies and learn more, practice more with your friends or alone, right? To uh, to be uh, great at speaking or having a good communication. So now I play it again for you. You can listen and practice. Here we go. Tape script 7.11. One. My boyfriend's just asked me to marry him. Did he? How fantastic. Did you say yes? 
too. Will spaghetti bolognese be okay for dinner? Of course. That's great. It's one of my favourites. Three. There's a strike at the airport, so my holiday's been cancelled. Oh dear, that's a shame. Will you get your money back? Four. I failed my driving test again. You didn't. That's too bad. Better luck next time. Five. We're expecting a baby. Are you? Congratulations. When's it due? Six. So you think I should save to buy a car, not borrow the money? Definitely. You've already got too many debts. Seven. I told him I never wanted to see him again. You're kidding! What a pity! I always thought the two of you were so good together. Okay, so now before we say goodbye, I want some student to read. So, so con you are B, and Pajada um, you are A. Okay, please. Yes, teacher. A, A one. My boyfriend just asked me to marry him. Did he? Oh, uh, how can a uh, tough state? Will spaghetti bolognese be okay for dinner? Of course. That's good. It's one of my favorite. There is a string at the airport, so my holiday been cancelled. Oh dear, that's Sam. How? How cool. Uh, will you get your money back? I failed my driving test again. Uh, you did then? That's too bad. Better luck, uh, better luck, better luck next time. We are expecting a baby. Are you? Good. Uh, what did did the? So you're saying I should sell to buy a car, not borrow the money? Definitely. You already uh, got too many debts. Yeah. So when I told him I never wanted to see him again. You're kidding. I always thought the two of you were so good to get there. All right, thank you very much. It has been a good day, right, to be with all of you for two sessions is over here. Okay, goodbye for now. See you again next week. Enjoy your afternoon class with teacher Laura. Excuse bye -bye. me, teacher. Let me ask okay. you one question. Okay. I want to uh, about the time. When you collect? Uh, I, I, I will start it. I will, I will give you the information on uh, uh, telegrams and uh, you will see when you go to the test, you will see when I uh, will collect the test. OK, I will put the deadline. Everything's there for you. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you. All right. Any more questions, ladies and gentlemen? And the man has to, to have lunch now when they're about to eat that. <laughs> You're going to be late for lunch. You cannot eat after 12, right? Oh, OK. Thank you now. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher.